Hello and welcome back. This is Nick again with the tech support team with Live365. And uh, today we're going to uh, continue through the getting started video series that we're doing here um, to help you uh, basically get your station on the air for the first time. Uh, the last video we left off uh, where we were setting up your profile, um, getting it ready uh, to broadcast. And so the second step in this process is uploading your tracks. Now, that with Live 365, there's several methods that you can use to upload uh, tracks, and I'll go through those one by one, and I'll show you which one is the preferred method. Um, so if you click over to Tracks here, um, and then click Upload, this is going to bring you to the Upload page. Now, the best way to upload tracks, I would say, in my opinion, is to use our software, the Studio 365 Loader. And you can click there to download it. You can also watch a, a video tutorial uh, here specifically on it. Um, I'm going to also go through it. Um, another method that we offer is FTP. If you have an FTP client like FileZilla, um, you can use this information to, um, to connect to your, your cloud storage and upload files that way. Uh, we also have a simple web upload option here where you can click Browse and select a file. Keep in mind, though, that this um, it's all based online, and it will not automatically convert your files to the bitrate of your station, your, your bitrate format. So that is why we recommend using the Studio 365 Loader, because it does that conversion for you automatically. So let's go ahead and open it up, and um, I'll show you how it works. All right, so I'm going to just log into my account here, Blue Lake Radio. All right, and so here's the loader. It's very simple. Um, basically, what you want to do is navigate to your folder where you have your stuff, your files, all your MP3 files. Another thing to note is that our system only accepts MP3 files. So if your files are in a different audio uh, file format, um, you'll need to convert them. And we'll do another video um, so that you can, of, of some popular ways, common ways that you can do those conversions. Now, what you need to do here is you just, uh, this is a batch uploader, uploader, so you can select as many files as you want to upload. Um, so you can just hit, hold down the shift key and highlight them all and hit start. In my case, I've already uploaded a lot of these, so I'm just going to upload one to show how it works. Now, before I hit start, the one thing you want to go down and check is the target bit rate. You always want to make sure that this is set to the bit rate that your station's format is already set to. Now, it should automatically match as soon as you log into this. However, um, I just want to double check it just to make sure that it is. So um, another thing to check for is the normalize feature. Now, what that does is um, all the commercials that play on our platform are normalized to 93 decibels. So you want to make sure that your, your tracks that you're uploading are normalized to that same level so that um, so that in some way they can be synchronized to the same, um, roughly the same audio level. So once you have all that checked, just hit start. It's going to start the uh, converting process. As you can see here, the original bit rate is 320 kbps, and it's being down converted to 128. So, uh, so this software will do that conversion for you. So it looks like it's going to go through the normalizing process and then uploading. There we go. Now as soon as it uploads successfully you'll get a message telling you, you did. You just click OK and then what you want to do next is go back into your tracks page. Now you may notice that the track doesn't show up right away and that's normal. It, it does take a little bit of time to go through the process of transcoding on the server before it shows up. Uh, so you could just refresh, and it might take a little bit, but um, it'll show up eventually here. Let's see. Now, in some cases, if it takes a little bit longer, you can always click on this here, Missing Tracks, and then click Sync Tracks Go, and that's going to basically push the track through the transcoding process and here we see it did so so now it's there and it's all set so I've got all these tracks ready to go 
Now, a quick note about your tracks locker here. There's a number of, thing, a number of things that you can do to sort through. You can hit all if you want to see the full list, and you can scroll all the way through it. Uh, you can also sort here. So if you have um, you know, a lot of tracks, you can do a quick sort by the name. Um, you can also you can also sort by the type of file. So say if I went into the track info editor for this track and I changed it from music to station ID, for instance. If I select it as a station ID and then I select IDs and DJ tracks here, that's going to show up in that list. So that's how that works. Another thing about the tracks locker is a lot of times you're going to upload a track and it's going to show up with missing information and I want to show you what I mean here so I'm going to delete this and save it there we go so you may upload a track and it might be missing information and what that means is it's missing the actual um, song title or track title in this case and these three fields the artist title track title album title these are um, required fields. Essentially you have to have these three fields filled in for every track that you're going to play. Otherwise your station will either not play the track or it'll get skipped or the station could get delisted if there's too many of these tracks in a playlist with no information. So you always want to have all of these three fields filled out. The artist title, track title, album title. That's what's required. There's also some advanced fields where you can put cover art, um, store links and all that. Um, you don't need to worry about that so much. The main ones are this al artist title, track title, album title information. So once you've got it there, you can save it and go back. I'm refreshing the page here and here we go. So it's all set. So basically this is the the second step in the process is uploading your tracks making sure that they're all tagged correctly so that they're in compliance with the DMCA rules and regulations. And if you want to check out more rules on the DMCA, um, more information on that, you can go to help and just search DMCA and that'll pull up our wiki help guide which will give you um, tons of information on the DMCA and how to keep your broadcast compliant. Uh, so that sums up this video. Um, we're going to do another video which is going to be um, going through creating a playlist, so stay tuned for that, and uh, we'll see you then.